James. I am um, a clinical psychologist and also a board certified clinical neuropsychologist. All right. And can you walk us through your educational background? Sure. I received my uh, PhD in clinical psychology in 2003 um, after completing um, an internship in clinical psychology. Um, I also completed a two-year postdoctoral fellowship in pediatric neuropsychology um, from Children's National Medical Center in Washington, D.C. Um, I obtained my Ph.D. from Northwestern University uh, Medical School. Um, uh, since that time, um, I have... Um, so complete, once I completed my um, Ph.D., I also um, became board certified in neuropsychology and clinical neuropsychology through the American Board of Professional Psychology, and that was 10 years ago in 2013. Okay. Have you had any other, uh, have you had things that you specialized in as part of your professional development? Yes, uh, my area of specialty as a neuropsychologist, um, particularly coming from a pediatric background, has been in developmental disorders. As a neuropsychologist, we tend to focus in two areas. One is um, conditions, neurological conditions, which begin early in development or prenatally. So that would include things like um, attention uh, deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, autism spectrum disorders, learning disabilities, and intellectual disability, which we used to refer to as mental retardation. Um, the second area that uh, neuropsychologists will often deal with are what we call acquired injuries to the brain. This would include things that um, like severe head injuries, as, as you would see in a car accident, brain tumors, strokes, seizure disorders. We say acquired because these are conditions that tend to ha that happen afterwards, right after someone, uh, and can happen at any time during the lifespan. Um, so.